Some exciting new functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2010 is what we call design studies. Design studies allow us to do a geometry-based or a stress-based optimization on a model design. Let's take a look at a simple geometry-based design study. And this is something that you can do regardless whether you own any of the simulation modules. This is just in core SOLIDWORKS. With a geometry-based optimization, we can go through and define various variables that we might want to, to, uh, to vary and set up ranges for those. Once we've defined our variables, we can then tell the, soft, the solver what goal we want to satisfy. Here let's just set up a goal to minimize the mass. So essentially we're running an optimization to find the best combination of dimensions over the range that we specify that gives the minimum weight of the part. This runs very quickly since all it's doing is rebuilding the model with the given set of dimensions and making note of the mass. We can see that a table is getting built up here below the screen below the graphics area that shows the values for each of the iterations. We can visit each iteration and look at what the geometry looks like in each of those configurations and also monitor the mass. For our first iteration we have a, a part that's about 5.2 kilograms. By simply uh, iterating on those four dimensions we're able to come up with an optimal configuration that's down to 2.8 kilograms. So dramatic savings in mass that only took us a couple of minutes to set up and run. Now we can take it one step further. If we add in our simulation module, we can now do a strength-based design study. Now this is significant. What we can do is we set up a, a stress analysis where we, we go in and define our restraints and our forces, much like I showed you in, uh, with our Simulation Express product. And here we're just applying a bearing load and an end load, uh, an, a thrust load and a bearing load on the part. With our new design study, we set up the same dimensions that we want to vary over a given range, but the only difference now is that we set up an additional requirement that the stress needs to be less than 150 megapascals. We could also set up requirements for a, a minimum displacement or even a factor of safety. Those are what are called our design constraints. Our design goal stays the same, that we want to minimize the mass. And we simply run the solution. Now simulation will iterate on all the different design scenarios and come up with an optimal configuration. This one takes a couple of minutes to run so I've already stored some results. You can see we have several iterations and as I scan through my table you can see designs that fail and uh, design that pass and designs that fail. If we compare to our uh, from our initial configuration to our optimal configuration we can we see that we drop our, our factor of safety goes from 4.5 down to 2.5, still a safe design, but we've dropped the mass dramatically in, this, in the optimal configuration. So a great tool where very quickly we can iterate on a geometry and a stress-based design optimization and really zero in on better designs quickly.